How lovely are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. As for me, through your abundant grace, I enter your house to worship with awe in your sacred place. O oh Lord, I love the house where you dwell and the place where your glory tabernacles. I shall prostrate myself and bow. I shall kneel before the Lord my maker. To you, eternal one, goes my prayer. May this be a time of your favor. In your abundant love, O oh God, answer me with the truth of your salvation. Matavu Ohalecha Yaakov Mishken Altecha Yisrael Matavu Ohalecha Yaakov Mishken Altecha Yisrael Ba'ani barov chastecha avo vetecha Eshtachave el hechal kadshecha beira techa Adonai ahafti maom vetecha O makom mishkan kavodecha Ba'ani eshtachave vechraa Evrecha lifne Adonai osi Ba'ani tfilati lecha Adonai et raton Elohim barov chastecha Aneni the Baruch Shemar prayer serves as an opening for the verses of praise or Pesuke de Zimra, which tell of God's greatness and how he manifests himself within creation. Baruch Shemar Vehaya Olam Baruch Hu Baruch Hose Vereshit Baruch Omer Veoseh Baruch Gozer Umechayem Baruch Merachem Al Haaretz Baruch Merachem Al Habriot Baruch Mishalem Sakar Tov Lireav Baruch Chaylaat Vekayam Lanetzach Baruch Pote Umatzihil Baruch Shema Blessed is he who spoke, and the world came into being. Blessed is he. Blessed is he who maintains creation. Blessed is he who speaks and does. Blessed is he who decrees and fulfills. Blessed is he who has mercy on the earth. Blessed is he who has mercy on the creatures. Blessed is he who gives goodly reward for those who fear him. Blessed is he who lives forever and endures to eternity. Blessed is he who redeems and rescues. Blessed is his name. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, praised by the mouth of your people, lauded and glorified by the tongue of your loved ones and your servants. We also will praise you, O Lord our God, with the songs of David your servant. With praises and psalms we will magnify, Lord, and glorify you. And we will make mention of your name and proclaim you, our King, O our God. You, the only one, the life of all worlds. O King, praised and glorified be your great name forever and ever. Blessed art you, O Lord, a king extolled with praises. And we all say, Amen. Shohein Ad which means abiding forever or he who dwells, is taken from Isaiah 57, 15. 
It goes in part, God dwells forever. Exalted and holy is God's name. And it is written, shout joyfully, righteous ones, for God, for praise is fitting. In the mouth of the upright, you will be exalted, O God, and with the words of righteous ones, you will be blessed. And with the tongue of those who do deeds of loving kindness, you will be sanctified. And in the midst of the holy ones, you will be praised. Shalchenad maram bekadosh emor bechatuv rananu tzarikim banonai la'yesharim nabatehila behefi yesharim titalal uvedivre tzarikim titbarach. Uvil shon chasidim titromam Uve kerev kedoshim Tit kadash So sasis badonai Tagel nafshi be elohai Ki hil bishani big day yesha Miltstaka yatani Ki hil bishani big day yesha Miltstaka yatani So sasis maronai Tagel nafshi belohai Ki hil bishani big day yesha Miltstaka yatani Ki Hail Bishani Big Day Yesha Miltstaka Yatani Mashiv Ladonai Kotag Mula Valahai Mashiv Ladonai Kotag Mula Valahai Kos Yeshua Desa Uvishem Adonai Ekra Kos Yeshua Desa Uvishem Adonai Ekra Lecha Hezbach Zevach Toda Uvishem Adonai Ekra Lecha Hezbach Zevach toda, uveshem Adonai ekra. Kos Yeshuot esa, uveshem Adonai ekra. Kos Yeshuot esa, uveshem Adonai ekra. Nedarai Ladonai, Nedarai Ashalem, Nedarai Ladonai, Nedarai Ashalem, Kosi Shua Tessa, Uvishim Adonai Ekra. Kosi Shua Tessa, Uvishim Adonai Ekra. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with the timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 
kodsho Hallelujah bikia uta Hallelujah before otav Hallelujah care of good low Hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, be take a show far. Hallelujah, be never the killer. Hallelujah, be tough, um, a call. Hallelujah, be mean, um, we Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, bitzel tell a shama. Hallelujah, bitzel tell a tura. Call and shama to hallelujah. Hallel, hallelujah. Call and shama. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Adonah Roi lo exal, be he no te she, yar be tiny, how may menu hot in a lany. Nafshi ye shall Yan cheni b'mahag le'tzedek l'man shemo gam ki elch beget zamavet lo irara ki atayimadi shiftecha. O Mishan Techa, Taroch lefana shuchan, neget saurerai. Dishanta, dishanta, dishanta vashem en roshi. Dishanta vashem en roshi. Kosi revaya. Ah, 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 Vishavti bevet Adonai leorech yamim. Vishavti bevet Adonai. Vishavti bevet Adonai. Vishavti bevet Adonai leorech Kile Olam Chasto, Oh, do Ladonai Kitov, Kile Olam Chasto, Oh, do Ladonai Kitov, Kile Olam Chasto. 
us know. How do, how do, how do, how do, how do, Ladonai Kitov? How do, how do, how do, how do, how do, Ladonai Kitov? Give thanks to the Lord, He is good. His mercy forever endures. Give thanks to the Lord, He is good. His mercy forever endures. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks to the Lord, He is good. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to the Lord, He is good. As we began our verses of praise with Baruch Shemar, blessed is he who spoke, we conclude our verses of praise with Yishtabach, which means be praised. And we thank Hashem for the opportunity to sing musical songs of praise unto him. So we say, may your name be praised forever, our King. Blessings and thanksgivings from this time and forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, God, King exalted through praises, God of thanksgivings, master of wonders, who chooses musical songs of praise, King, God, life giver of the world. And we all say, Amen. Yishtabach shimcha la'ad malkeinu Berachot v'haldot me'ata v'yad olam Baruch atah Adonai El melech kado batishbachot El haldot Adon Haniflaut Abocher Bishire Zimra Melech Haolamin. Barhu et Adonai Hamevorach Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Leolam Vaher Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Leolam Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Vahavta et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Lavavcha, Vavachol Nafshecha, Vavachol Meodecha. Vahayu Hadvarim Haele, Asher Anochi Mitzavcha Hayom, Alavavecha. Vishinan Tam Levanecha, Vidibar Tabam, Vishif Techa Bevetecha, Uvalech Techa Vaderech, Uvishach Becha Uvkumecha. Ukshar Tam Laot Al Yadecha. Vahayu letotafot bein einecha, uchtavtam al muzuzot beitecha, uvisharecha. Vahavta lareacha kamocha.
It is now time for the Amidah. On Shabbat, we recite seven blessings as opposed to the 19 blessings of the Amidah. So we begin with the three first blessings, honoring Hashem for his faithfulness, his power, and his holiness. Then we go to the sanctification of Shabbat. After that, we ask him to restore the service of the temple, which is us asking Hashem to send Messiah. Because when Messiah returns, the temple service will be restored and Jerusalem will be rebuilt. After that, we give thanks for answered prayers. And then we thank him and pray for the peace of all Israel. Before we say Amidah, it is customary for us to begin with Mika Mocha. And Mika Mocha is the song that Israel sang after they crossed the Red Sea. Who is like you, O God, in all the earth? There is none like you. And Mika Mocha is really getting our hearts ready so that we can stand before the King of Kings, that we can know that the one before whom we stand is all powerful. He is almighty and he is amazing. So let us join together and sing Mika Mocha and then we will begin reciting portions of the Amidah. Mi chamocha b'elihim Adonai Mi chamocha nedar b'kodesh Nahorat hihilot ahose pele who is like thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorified in holiness? You are awesome in praise, working wonders, O Lord, who, who is like Thee, O Lord. Adonai sefatai tiftach Ufia gitehi latecha. Adonai, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruchata Adonai, Eloheinu, Velohe Avoteinu. Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Velohe Yaakov, Ael Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora, Eloyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Vezocher Chaste Avot, who may be go live nave Leman Shemo Beahava Melech Hoser, Moshia, whom again Melech Hoser, Moshia, whom again Baruchata Donai, Baruchata Donai, Magain Avraham Baruchata Donai, Baruchata Donai, Magain Avraham. King Redeemer, her Savior and Shield. King Redeemer, her Savior and Shield. Blessed art thou, blessed art thou, Shield of Abraham. Blessed art thou, blessed art thou, Shield of Abraham. 
אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי מתים אתה רב להושיע. מחלקל חיים בחסד, מחיי מתים ברחמים רבים. סומך נופלים ורופא חולים ומתיר אסורים ומקיים אמונת אהוב לשני עפר. מי חמוך בעל גבורות ומי דומה לך מלך ממית ומחיה ומצמיח ישועה, ונאמן אתה להחיות מתים. ברוך אתה, אדוני, מחיי המתים. נחדש את שמך בעולם. כשם שמקדישים אותו בשמי מרום, כה כתוב על יד נביאך, וכרז אל זה ואמר, קדוש קדוש קדוש, אדוני צבאות, מלוך כל הארץ. אדיר אדירנו אדוני אדוננו מתיר שמך בכל הארץ ברוך כבוד אדוני ממחומו אחד הוא אלוהינו הוא אבינו, הוא מלכנו, הוא מושיענו והוא ישמיענו, ברחמיו לעיני כוחי. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, ימלוך אדוני לעולם. אלוהי ציון לדור ודור, הללויה. לדור ודור נגיד גוד לך, ונצח נצחים קדושתך נפתיש, ושפחך אלוהינו. מפינו לא ימוש לעולם ועד. ברוך אתה אדוני האל החדוש. Let's join together in proclaiming the Shabbat as we learn it from Exodus 31. The children of Israel shall keep the Shabbat, observing it throughout the generations as an everlasting covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Shabbat to another, All flesh shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. Veshameru v'nei Yisrael Et ha-shabbat L'asot et ha-shabbat L'dorotam berit ha-olam ביני ובין בני ישראל, אותי לעולם. כי ששת ימים עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ. 
וביום השביעי שבת In Zechariah chapter 8, the Lord promises to bless Jerusalem. In verse 3, this is what we read. This is what the Lord says, I will return to Zion and dwell in Jerusalem. Then Jerusalem will be called the faithful city, and the mountain of the Lord Almighty will be called the Holy Mountain. Let us join together in praying for the rebuilding of Jerusalem. To Jerusalem, your city, may you return in compassion, and may you rest within it, as you have spoken in Zechariah 8.3. May you rebuild it soon in our days as an eternal structure, and may you speedily establish the throne of David within it. Blessed are you, Lord our God, the builder of Jerusalem. Amen. We give thanks to you, for you are the Lord our God, and the God of our fathers forever and ever. Through every generation, you have been the rock of our lives, the shield of our salvation. We thank you and declare your praise for our lives that are in your hands, for our souls that are entrusted to you, for your miracles that are daily with us, and for your wonders and your favors that are with us at all times, evening, morning, and noon. Beneficent one, your mercies never fail. Merciful one, your kindness never cease. We have always placed our hope in you. For all these acts, may your name be blessed and exalted continually, our King forever and ever. Let every living thing give thanks to you and praise your name in truth, God, our salvation and our help. Blessed are you, Lord, whose name is the Beneficent One, and to whom it is fitting to give thanks. Sim shalom tova uvracha, chen vachesed vrachamim vrachamim aleinu, ve'al kol Israel, ve'al kol Israel amecha, barakenu avinu kulanu chechad, ve'opanecha. Kivor panecha natatalanu Adonai Eloheinu. Sim shalom, tova uvracha, Chen vachesed vrachamim vrachamim aleinu. Ve'al kol Israel, ve'al kol Israel amecha. Torot z'chaim ve'avat chesed, ve'avat chesed. U'tzadach ha'uvracha v'rachamim v'chaim v'shalom. Sim shalom, sim shalom, tova uvracha. Chen v'chesed v'rachamim v'rachamim aleinu. Ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yisrael amecha, v'tov b'necha levarech et amcha Yisrael. V'chol e'tuv kol sha'a b'shlomecha. Sim shalom, tova uvracha, Chen v'chesed v'rachamim v'rachamim aleinu V'yal kol Yisrael, v'yal kol Yisrael amecha Baruch ata Adonai hamivarech et amo Yisrael v'shalom Grant peace, goodness and blessing grace and kindness and mercy to us and to all Israel, your people. Bless us, our Father, one and all, with the light of your face. 
For by the light of your face, you have given us, Lord our God, a Torah of life and love of kindness, charity, blessing, mercy, life, and peace. May it please you to bless your people Israel at all times and in every hour with your peace. Blessed are you, Lord, who blesses his people Israel with peace. Amen. And as we come to the end of the Amidah, we close with Psalm 1915. And we say to Hashem, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, O God my rock and my redeemer. Ye you le ratzon im refi vehegyon libi lefanecha Adonai Tzuhuri Vegali Adonai Tzuhuri Vegali May the My heart be acceptable to you, O oh God, my rock and my Redeemer, ye Adonai Tzuhuri Vegali Adonai Tzuhuri Vegali It is now time for the Torah service. Usually, in a synagogue, at this time, the Torah scrolls are removed from the Aron HaKodesh, or the Holy Ark. And this is usually done with a series of biblical verses that are chanted, usually coming from the book of the Psalms, describing God's grandeur and role as king of the universe. Now, the Aron HaChodesh, or the Echal as it's called, harkens back to the cabinet that housed the tablets of the Ten Commandments in the Holy of Holies, in the portable tabernacle, and later in the temple in Jerusalem. As we are removing the Torah from the Ark, it is customary for the congregation to chant verses from Numbers 10, 35, reminding us of when the ark was carried forward and Moses would say, Arise, Lord, and may your enemies be scattered. May your foes be put to flight. It is also customary for us to recite from Isaiah 2, 3, 
which is a beautiful reminder that the Torah shall go forth from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Let us now prepare our hearts to hear the reading from the word of God. En kamocha Elohim Adonai, v'yein kimasecha. Machutcha machut kol olamim, umem shaltecha v'chol dor v'ador. Adonai melech, Adonai malach, Adonai himloch, Leolam vahen, Adonai oz liyamo yitain, Adonai yevarech et amo vashalom. Vayehi bin soa ha'aron, Vayomer Moshe, Kuma Adonai, Veyafutsu Oivecha, Veyanusu Misanecha, Mipanecha, Ki Mitzion, Tetze Torah, Ki Mitzion, Tetze Torah, Udevar Adonai, Mi Yerushalayim, Baruch Shenatan, Torah, Torah, Baruch Shenatan, Torah, Torah, Le'amo Yisrael, Bihikdu Shato. Barku et Adonai Hamvorak. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Malek Ha'olam. Asher Barkar Banu Mikol Ha'amim. Venatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai. No ten ha Torah. On the day that the tabernacle was set up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, the tent of the testimony. And at evening, it was over the tabernacle like the appearance of fire until morning. So it was always. The cloud covered it by day, and the appearance of fire by night. And whenever the cloud lifted from over the tent, after that the people of Israel set out. And in the place where the cloud settled down, there the people of Israel camped. At the command of the Lord, the people of Israel set out. And at the command of the Lord, they camped. As long as the cloud rested over the tabernacle, they remained in camp. Even when the cloud continued over the tabernacle many days, the people of Israel kept the charge of the Lord and did not set out. Sometimes the cloud was a few days over the tabernacle, and according to the command of the Lord, they remained in camp. Then according to the command of the Lord, they set out. And sometimes the cloud remained from evening until morning. And when the cloud lifted in the morning, they set out. Or if it continued for a day and a night, when the cloud lifted, they set out. 
Whether it was two days or a month or a longer time that the cloud continued over the tabernacle, abiding there, the people of Israel remained in camp and did not set out. But when it lifted, they set out. At the command of the Lord, they camped. And at the command of the Lord, they set out. They kept the charge of the Lord at the command of the Lord of Moses. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Malek HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet, Vekaye Olam Nata Beto Kenu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Barkar Bin Vi'im Tovim Veratza Vedivrehem Hane Emarim Be'emet Baruch Ata Adonai Habocher Batora U Moshe Abdo U Israel Amo U Vin Vie Hamet Vat Sedek Be silent, all flesh before the Lord for he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. Then he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to accuse him. And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, O Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is not this a brand plucked from the fire? Now Joshua was standing before the angel clothed with filthy garments. And the angel said to those who were standing before him, Remove the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, Behold, I have taken your iniquity away from you, and I will clothe you with pure vestments. And I said, Let them put a clean turban on his head. So... They put a clean turban on his head and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord was standing by. And the angel of the Lord solemnly assured Joshua, Thus says the Lord of hosts, If you will walk in my ways and keep my charge, then you shall rule my house and have charge of my courts. And I will give you the right of access among those who are standing here. Hear now, O Joshua the high priest, you and your friends who sit before you, for they are men who are a sign. Behold, I will bring my servant the branch. For behold, on the stone that I have set before Joshua, on a single stone with seven eyes, I will engrave its inscription, declares the Lord of hosts. And I will remove the iniquity of this land in a single day. In that day, declares the Lord of hosts, every one of you will invite his neighbor to come under his vine and under his fig tree. And the angel who talked with me came again and woke me, like a man who is awakened out of his sleep. And he said to me, What do you see? I said, I see and behold a lampstand all of gold with a bowl on top of it and seven lamps on it with seven lips on each of the lamps that are on top of it. And there are two olive trees by it, one on the right of the bowl and the other one on its left. And I said to the angel who talked with me, what are these, my Lord? 
Then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what these are? I said, No, my Lord. Then he said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you shall become a plain, and he shall bring forward the top stone amidst shouts of grace, grace to it. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam, tzor kol ha'olamihim, tzadik bechol adorot, ha'el ha'neeman, ha'omer ve'oseh, ha'medaber umchayim, shekol devara ve'met v'tzedek. Al ha Torah, ve al ha avoda, ve al ha nevi'im, ve al yom ha shabbat ha zei, shenatatalanu, adonai eloheinu, likdusha ve limnu ha ha, lechavot utifaret. Al ha chol, Adonai Eloheinu, anachnu modim lach, umevarkim utach, yitbarach shimcha befi kochai, tamid leolam vaed, baruch ata Adonai, mekadesh hashabat. When the Torah scroll is returned to the Aaron, it is customary for us to say, When the ark was set down, Moses prayed, O Lord, dwell among the myriad families of Israel. Come up, O Lord, to your sanctuary, together with the ark of your glory. May your priests be clothed in righteousness, and may your faithful ones rejoice. I have given you precious teaching, Forsake not my Torah. Then we sing Eitz Chaim. The Torah is a tree of life for those who take hold of it. Eitz Chaim hi, lama chazikim ba, v'tam chaya me. It is now time for us to say Chadish, which means sanctification. And although this prayer has been called the mourner's prayer, it is actually a prayer that we recite remembering and sanctifying the name of Hashem. So we're going to recite Kaddish in English and then it will be chanted in Hebrew. Glorified and sanctified be God's great name throughout the world which he has created according to his will. May he establish his kingdom in your lifetime and during your days, and within the life of the entire house of Israel, speedily and soon, and we all say, Amen. May his great name be blessed forever and to all eternity. Blessed and praised, glorified and exalted, extolled and honored, 
adored and lauded be the name of the Holy One, blessed be He. Beyond all the blessings and hymns, praises and consolations that are ever spoken in the world. And we all say, Amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life for us and for all Israel. And we all say, Amen. Yit kadal ve yit kadash shemeraba Belma di brachirute Biam lich mahute Echa ye chon of yome chon of chaye chobet Israel Bagala Bagala who is man cariu? Amen. Ye heish me raba me varach. Le alam lal me omaya. Eat parach. Eat parach. We ish tabach. We eat par. We troman. We eat nasay. Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shemed Kucha, Brechu, Leila, Minko, Birchata, Vishirata, Tush Pechata, Venechemata, Tamiran, Bioma, Vimiru Amen. O say shalom bimomav, who ya say shalom aleinu ve al kol Israel. Vimru, vimru, amen. O say shalom bimomav, who ya say shalom aleinu ve al kol Israel. Vimru, vimru, amen. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom aleinu ve al kol Israel. Ya say shalom, ya say shalom, shalom aleinu ve al kol Israel. O say shalom bimomav, hu ya say shalom aleinu ve al kol Israel. Vimru, vimru, amen. He who makes peace in his high places, he shall make peace upon us and upon all of Israel. And we all say, Amen. At this time, let us all join together in praying for Refua Shlema, for healing for those who may not be feeling well today. We pray for healing and restoration of mind, body, and spirit. And we pray Mishiberach, which is a prayer to the one who blesses us with healing. We pray for each and every person Please feel free to mention the names of those who you know who may not be feeling so well today. And we pray for the whole house of Israel and for all of humanity for healing of body and spirit. <laughs> Mekor ha bracha leim alteinu. May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say Amen. 
מי שברך אמותינו מקור הברכה לאבותינו. Bless those in need of healing with Rafua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. And let us say Amen. Amen. May the one who blessed our ancestors, our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our mothers Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. May the Holy Blessed One overflow with compassion upon us, to restore us, to heal us, to strengthen us, to enliven us. May the Holy One, blessed be He, send complete healing, healing of the soul and healing of the body among the people of Israel and all humankind. And we all say, Amen. We have a biblical obligation to pray for the land of Israel. Join us now as we pray for the Holy Land. Our Father in heaven, rock and redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, the first manifestation of the approach of our redemption. Shield it with your loving kindness. Envelop it in your peace and bestow your light and truth upon its leaders, ministers, and advisors and grace them with your good counsel. Strengthen the hands of those who defend our holy land. Grant them deliverance and adorn them in a mantle of victory. Ordain peace in the land and grant its inhabitants eternal happiness. Remember our brothers and sisters scattered to distant lands. Lead them swiftly and upright to your city Zion and to Jerusalem, the abode of your name, as it is written in the Torah of your servant Moses. Even if your outcasts are at the ends of the world, from there the Lord your God will gather you, from there he will fetch you. And the Lord your God will bring you to the land that your fathers possessed, and you shall possess it, and he will make you more prosperous and more numerous than your fathers. Draw our hearts together to revere and venerate your name and to observe all the precepts of your Torah and send us quickly the Messiah, son of David, to redeem those who await your deliverance. Manifest yourself in the splendor of your boldness before the eyes of all the inhabitants of the world. And may everyone endowed with a soul affirm that the Lord God of Israel is King and his dominion is absolute. Amen forevermore. We also have a biblical obligation to pray for the land that we live in, that it will experience peace and prosperity. If the land is prosperous, then we too will experience prosperity. Let us all at this time pray for our individual country. Please feel free to mention your country by name. Let us pray. Our God and God of our ancestors, we ask for your protection, guidance, and blessing for our country, for its government, for its leaders and advisors, and for all who exercise just and rightful authority. Teach them insights from your Torah that they administer all affairs of state fairly, that peace and security happiness and prosperity, justice and freedom may abide in our midst. Establish soon the vision of your prophets for the nations of the world. Nation will not raise a sword against nation, 
and they will no longer learn war. And as it is said, for all of them will know me, from the smallest to the greatest. Amen. It's our duty to bless our children. We should bless them every day. But it's customary for us to bless our children on Shabbat. At this time, I want to encourage those of you who are parents to rest your hand, your right hand upon your children and recite blessings over them. Over our sons, we say, may God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh, Yisimcha Elohim ke Ephraim v'chim nashe. And over our girls we say, May God make you like Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. Yisimcha Elohim ke Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, v'leah. After which we recite the ironic blessing over our children. We say, may Adonai bless you and keep you. May Adonai cause his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. May Adonai lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Avinu sheba shamayim yitkadash shemecha. Tavo machutecha yea seret soncha ba'aretz kasher nasa va shamayim. Ten lano hayom lechem chukenu. Uslach lano at ashmatenu. Kasher sochim anachnu la sher ashmulano. Beat tibienu lide masa. Kim hatsilenu minhara. Kilecha hamam lacha. Vahagvura Vahati Feret Laomeola Mim Amen. Shabbat Shalom and welcome to this week's sermonette. In this week's portion, Beha Haloteka, we read about the Israelites' journey. 
After about a year of camping near Mount Sinai, the children of Israel began moving toward the promised land. Before the journey, the Torah describes how the nation traveled in the desert. A divine cloud settled on the Mishkan, or tabernacle, at night, and the cloud was like fire. That same cloud that symbolized the divine presence would determine when the nation would travel and when and where they should camp. When the cloud rose above the Mishkan, the children of Israel knew they must follow it. When the cloud rested, they knew they should camp. They never knew how long they would journey or how long they would remain encamped. They went to sleep every night, knowing that early the next morning, the cloud could rise and they would have to be on their way. Or the cloud could stay on the Mishkan for an indeterminate period of time and they would stay put. Occasionally, the time they remained camped was very short. In the evening, they might set up camp after a very long journey and early the next morning continue on following the cloud. You see, every step in the wilderness was a step into the unknown and the entire journey required complete trust and dedication to God's will. Now, how can we draw strength from this? The reality of life sometimes leads us on a winding journey. We often find ourselves facing situations we did not expect or prepare for. But we can draw from that same total faith in God that the children of Israel had in the desert and use that power to overcome our challenges with peace and joy. Let us always remember that we are never alone because God's presence is always with us. And if you feel as if you are journeying into the unknown, know this. The destination may be unknown to you, but it is not unknown to Hashem. So continue moving as the cloud go before you. Shabbat Shalom. As we conclude our worship service this afternoon, we will sing Ein Kaloheinu. Ein Kaloheinu, Ein Kadoneinu, Ein Kimokeinu, Ein Kamoshienu, Mi Kaloheinu, Mi Kadoneinu, Mi Kimokeinu, Mi Kamoshienu. No del lo heinu, no del adone heinu, no del emo keinu, no del emo sheenu, baruch elo heinu, baruch adone heinu, baruch ma keinu, baruch mo sheenu. Atta who will ohenu, Atta who I don't know, Atta who Makenu, Atta who Moshienu, Atta who Shakti Ru, Ava Hotenu, Lefahanecha, et Kitoret Hasami. Leolenu, it is our duty. It goes in part, it is our duty to praise the master of all, to acclaim the greatness of the one who forms all creation. And we bend our knees and bow down and give thanks before the ruler, the ruler of rulers, the holy one, blessed is he. 
the one who spread out the heavens and made the foundations of the earth, and whose precious dwelling is in the heavens above, and whose powerful presence is in the highest heights. Adonai is our God. There is none else. Our God is truth, and nothing else compares. As it is written in your Torah, and you shall know today and take to heart that Adonai is the only God in the heavens above and on earth below. There is no other. <laughs> Shalosamanukahemadamashalosamkelkenukahemvegaralenukekalhamonam <laughs> Mahe ham lachim Akadosh Baruchu Shehu no te shamayim veoseidaret Umo shabi karo bashamayim mimao Ushkina tuzo, Ushkina tuzo Begave meromim who Eloheinu Einod Emet Malkeinu Efet Zulato Kakatu Betorato Viadata Hayom Viadata Hayom Vashevota Elevavecha Ki Adonai Huha Elohim Bashamayim mimal Vial haaretz, vial haaretz Mitachat eino Venemal Vahaya Adonai Lemelech hao kol haaretz Bayom hahu, bayom hahu, ye Adonai echan. Ushema, Ushema, Ushema Adon olam asher malach Beterem ko yitzir nivra Leit nasa v'chep tzoko Hazai melech shemo nikra V'yachare kichlot hako Levada yimloch nora Vehu <laughs> Vechai goali, vitsochevli beit sahara, vihu nisi umanosli, minat kosi, bio mekra, biahado, afi druhi, beit ishan, viahira. Vim ruchi gviyati Adonai li velo ira Ivarek Adonai vishmareka 
Ya era donai panaveleka vikuneka. Isa donai panaveleka. We assemble Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face toward you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift his face toward you and give you peace.